Hello again everybody, this is Josh Kendall and Dave Kleininger from the state and GoGamecocks.com. We're here to preview another South Carolina football season and one of the more interesting that I can remember. We'll start with the quarterback situation. That's what Less, everybody wants to know about. Less than two weeks before the season opener against North Carolina on September 3rd, the Gamecocks don't have a starting quarterback. David, are you surprised, and what do you make of that? I really am surprised, Josh. You know, when they came into this preseason, of course, we all know what the quarterback battle was, right. but I really figured, you know, Connor Mitch is the most talented guy. They'll keep competition open for two, right. three weeks, then they'll name him the starter because they know what they're going to do. I'm telling you, they don't know what they're going to do. All the quarterbacks have been even. They don't want to, you know, put one guy up ahead to say you're number one going on. So they're keeping this thing open. Here we are 11, 12 days from the opener, and they don't have a named guy yet. So it may be Connor Mitch. It may be somebody else. But I think the only definite thing we found out, Josh, Lorenzo Nunez will play in yeah. some form or fashion. But, again, starting – who knows? And again, really, starting quarterback, what happens if Farrell Cooper takes that first snap? Well, he's the starter, right? So uh, quarterback battle is just going to keep going. Uh, maybe to the middle of uh, – maybe we'll know an answer in a few days. Maybe we won't. We'll just have to see. I thought it was interesting. I talked to two former South Carolina quarterbacks in the last week. One of them said, I think you should name a guy as early as you can because he's the man. Then he gets comfortable with the role. Everybody gets comfortable with him being the leader. The other one said – I think you should make them compete every day you can because that's how you find out who the you know who the, your guy is. So there are two schools of thought here. I feel like Steve Spurrier would like to have a guy, sure. but just doesn't quite yet. I agree with you. Obviously, Nunez will play. I don't think he'll start. I think Spurrier's basically said that. But for my money, what will be interesting is Lorenzo Nunez in the Wildcat or Farrell Cooper in the Wildcat. I mean, I could see keeping Farrow Cooper, who is your most important offensive player, out of harm's way as much as possible. Oh, yeah. Because Nunez, you feel like, can do a lot of those same things out of the Wildcat. But Steve Spurrier loves the ball in Farrow's hands. <laughs> and so I think we'll see them both in the offensive backfield at times. Maybe a lot if that works out well. What we still don't know is who will take the first snap under center. Steve Spurrier even threatened to run them all out there on the first play of the year. And he just might do it. But now, <laughs> that would be fun at least. I mean, we'll see. You know, it's interesting you should bring that up, Josh, about uh, quarterbacks having a different opinion, name the guy, don't right. name the guy. The only time Spurrier hasn't really had a defined answer was in 2008. Uh, you know, he let his quarterbacks go through the spring game. They had varying degrees of success, and he said, you know, we're not going to name anybody right now. A week later, he said, you know something, Tommy Beecher's the guy. Right. Tommy Beecher's our starting quarterback. Went through the spring, went through the summer, went through the preseason. Tommy Beecher was number one, number one no matter what. They played NC State the opener that year. Tommy Beecher lasted three quarters, threw four interceptions, left the game with a head injury. So I can definitely see why you wouldn't want to name yeah. a number one guy. Now, the difference here, Josh, back then he had experience behind Beecher. Chris Smelly had started six games the year before. But now if you name a guy and he goes out there and doesn't do well against North Carolina, you don't have anybody to lean on. Well, none of them have any experience, and Farrow Cooper is your leading returning passer as well as your leading returning receiver. Of, among the guys who are going to start at the quarterback position, Connor Mitch and his six career passes is the veteran. So no matter what you do, you've got an unproven commodity. And, you know, we could absolutely see two or three guys in the first game or the first two weeks or the first three weeks. It, uh, for me, this is an, a fascinating season, and the quarterback question is probably the most fascinating question about it. We'll be back tomorrow to talk about John Hoke and what impact the first-year co-defensive coordinator will have on the Gamecocks.